Yes, hi there, Mr. Automation again with the next episode on uh, how to build your infrastructure with uh, the easy way, with the uh, use of bicep files. And this time we're going to deploy three subnets, okay? And we start from scratch again. Uh, I, saw, I showed you this uh, drawing. I need to show it, of course. This drawing the last time with the VNet. We have that now in place with that address range. We have that now in Azure. I see that later. And now we're going to deploy three subnets. I don't know how yet, but I'm sure we'll find out. So uh, I'm not going to create a different bicep file for that. I think the subnets can belong to the same bicep file. So I will continue here in this file and create the subnets as well. But let's see how that actually works uh, in bicep because I don't know everything either. I use the IntelliSense mainly. Uh, so uh, let's call it the subnet one and it's of type uh, subnets so let's see if, we can, if i can type first subnets virtual network subnets that looks fine and we need to choose an api version always i do tap completion by the way i do spacebar i do tap again and do the required properties and we need to provide a name for a subnet so call it uh, do very lame hard-coded values subnet one we already have some squiggly lines here, right? We already have a, an issue. And basically what it says, you know, your expected resource needs to contain forward slash character. Basically it expects something like a VNet forward slash something like this. That is what it's expecting. But what you can also do is set the parent correctly. If I can type again, uh, parent VNet. Basically what we now say, this subnet that we're creating is a part of this VNet, right? Because that's the parent. So let's minimize this and let's only continue with the VNet now with the subnet. And I don't know if this is enough to start with the subnet. I think you need to specify a range or something like that. I can't imagine that this is it. So let's do control space. Let's see what we have more. We have some properties. Let's see what kind of properties. I don't know yet. Let's see. We have address prefix and prefixes. I think prefixes is several if you want to spy, specify several, but I only want to specify one, I think. So let's see the syntax for that. And that's probably something like this. And then the address prefix and what did we say for subnet one? 10.04.0 slash 24. So 24, that's what we set for the first subnet. And uh, I did control S, I saved it already. I clear the screen. Let's run our deployment again, right? Let's see if we made an error or not. I'll see that in a second. It's quite quick, those biceps deployment, most of the time at least. And uh, it succeeded. So actually we did not make a mistake. So let's go to uh, our uh, Azure resource group and look inside of our VNet. And let's see if we actually have some subnets. And we have, we have one subnet now. And that's correct because in this range, it looks, uh, looks quite okay. Uh, we don't have any network security group yet. We do that later, we'll figure that later. But for now, that's, uh, this is okay. So let's go back to this example. And uh, I'm lazy, so uh, I copy and paste this over. Because you already saw me do this once. I call it subnet two, subnet two, and we have a different range. I think it was five. Let's verify that on the drawing, our fantastic design. And uh, so subnet two gets this IP address range. So we're spot on here. Let's save it. Let's rerun our bicep deployment again. Still running. And here we have a succeeded again. So let's go to the, the VNet here, open the VNet, check for the subnets. We have now subnet two as well. So um, we're almost there. Uh, if I go back to the drawing here, then we also want the gateway subnet. So we still need to do that. So let's also add that here and uh, I'll be lazy again. So, and I call this uh, gateway uh, subnet. 
And this is a tricky one. You don't have a choice on the gateway subnet, basically. You need to call it that well as well. Gateway subnet, it's a mandatory name. I found that out the hard way. I think we specified this. Let's see if that's the case. Uh, yes, six slash. Because uh, at some point we want to attach this VPN gateway, you need to attach that to a subnet and that subnet needs to be called gateway subnet, otherwise it doesn't work. So uh, that's why I call it gateway subnet. So we're pre preparing here basically for the VPN. Um, I, I clear the screen again, we run this updated bicep template now. And it succeeded as well. So now let's go to the, our VNet again. We refresh it here. We now also have a gateway subnet specifically named like this with this range. So this is, uh, you see, available dependent on dynamic use. Uh, this is basically preparation for the VPN gateway that we're going to deploy later in this, in another video. So let's see what we have now. So we have the VNet, we have the subnets now deployed. So, uh, I would say in the next demo, we deploy the NSD, the network security groups for this uh, specific environment. So uh, thanks for watching. See you in the next video. Bye.